Hi, DLL. Love the show. Apple grew into nearby buildings in its early years, like LTT, and eventually built a unified campus. Do you think LTT can get there? And what's your dream of LTT under one roof? I think that sounds like a problem for our incoming CEO to deal with. I have actually explicitly already talked to multiple people internally about our space constraints, including Terran, and said that I do not intend to deal with it. I, uh, I, I, I don't think it's realistic for us to keep buying buildings. I mean, we've talked about that on the WAN show before. It's just reached the point now where... Um, just, We're in BC, man. It just like doesn't work. Yeah, the costs just go up higher than you can save up money yeah. at a certain point. It's like point. how real estate works in BC. And how how much space we would need. Like, you, you could even look at the badminton building and go, well, Linus, you could have just bought us the badminton building. No, I couldn't. The badminton building would not it's be not, enough to accommodate LMG in its, its current state. It's also state. not like zoned for office space and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's exactly. A, it wouldn't really work. And uh, office is even more expensive. So we would have to be getting an office zoned building. It would have to be like, we're already, we are already occupying something like 55,000 square feet or something like that. I don't know what that is in like real units but because i'm canadian um but but it's a lot it's a ton and so for us to move everything consolidate everything and then also have like a reasonable amount of room to grow we'd be basically looking at a hundred thousand square foot campus there is a solution oh, what just a company town you're pitching this again? Because you can't move, again. you can't convince everyone. We're bringing back Linus Bucks. Like if, if if you tried to move the entire company to somewhere a little bit, you know, further away from Vancouver, mm -hmm. it's going to be really hard because every single person at the company is going to have to figure out housing at the same time. What if you just provided that solution for them at the same time? Guaranteed renters. Internet would be sick. We might as well just provide free IT services. Cause, the know, hilarious, why not? The hilarious part of this is there are legitimately, like in BC, in the province where we live, towns where you, someone like me could realistically yeah. roll up and actually just be like, I'll take it. Yep. Um, because not because I actually not because I have best, like billionaire money, but because they are actually worthless. Yeah. The best um, part of the joke is how realistic it is. Yeah, that's not happening. That's not happening. No one would want to live there, Luke. Speak for yourself. <laughs> you two are <laughs> not... Luke, Luke and I living in the woods. Representative. Yeah, that's it. Let's uh, go. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the opportunity to own a significant amount of land for this many people in BC would probably be cool. My favorite part about this is I know it actually annoys him. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Jaden in floodplain chat we live in Vancouver obviously we would see uh, see hey hey okay but I get to be the cult leader and I have like sex slaves right this is fine that, already that's, is already that's basically <laughs> that's probably already happening there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne might take issue with that. Uh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I mean, not if they're male. I don't think she'd care about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I, we know. We do? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a slave. <laughs> <laughs> you get paid. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anywho. I uh, got one more for you here, I guess. <laughs> Unless you'd like to move on. <laughs> Both would be okay. <laughs> no, we can, we can do one more. 